It's the season finale of Rise Up and Whatever It Takes. An inside look at Highlander soccer. NJIT's soccer team both took a positive step forward in 2017. <laughs> Fernando Barbodo's men's team jumped out to a 5-0-1 start in non-conference play and had some early momentum. The men's team finished 8-7-4 overall and 3-2-1 in a sun play. Good enough for third place. I think uh, we struggled a little bit towards the end. We were tired, fatigued. But, you know, in the quarterfinal game, I thought we showed our, our quality in that second half and our courage to come back and, and uh, tie that game up. Mamadou Garassi was a big reason for their success. The senior forward scored 16 goals, the most in the country, earning the NCAA Golden Boot Award and a Sun Player of the Year honors. It's not only big, like, you know, personally for me, it's big for the school, it's big for the program, because obviously you can see it, you can feel it, that NJIT is moving into a new direction, and I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to put NJIT on the map. Overall, we had a good season. I wish I had one more year so I can play in the new facility, but I don't. And, you know, it was a special year, and. I'm proud of it from the beginning to the end. Garasi certainly had plenty of Highlander help. Let, let me get to the point. I can't say enough about Danny Cordero. He was our captain. He was our vocal leader. Yes, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Shane! Shane! He led by example. He was absolutely our rock. I think Pau Jimenez stepped up towards the end. And towards the end, you know, I think he was, in my opinion, I thought he was the best freshman in the, in the conference. I think there was an unsung hero in, in Juan Zapata, who was a sophomore. And and I think looking, f you know, going forward here, yeah, we think Victor Pujadas is going to be a big pillar, a uh, big leader on this team going forward. There was a definite synergy between the men's and women's teams that helped both programs. The men's and women's team, you know, need to work together. Uh, you know, at our home games, they, you know, they were there to support us. And, uh, you know, we all have a good relationship. Great that they're doing so well. I mean, Mamadou being the Golden Boot winner and just the success they've had and what Fernando's done with the program. One, two, three! I think if they can keep raising the standard higher and we're just trying to do the same thing, um, so NJIT, soccer in general, will just in this area start booming. NJIT women's soccer also finished over 500 and had a record-breaking year. Nine wins overall, two A-Sun victories, and a six match win streak, all program records. So first time in program history that we finished over 500. I mean, it was the most wins in program history with being nine and eight. So overall, collectively as a program, it was huge strides forward. I mean, beating the Fairfields, the Maris, the Riders, which we've never done before. The Highlanders lost their all league midfielder, Ariana Gerber, to injury midway through the season which affected the team in conference play. Teams have to be aware of her at all times of what she does. So that did hurt us, but I think in the grand scheme of things, other players had to step up. As you saw, Brianna Hakos had to go into that role and kind of take the game over, and she became our leading scorer and had some big plays and big games for us. So now going into it, when we get Ari back, now you have Bri and other players playing already in roles that they weren't used to. Adding Ari back into that, I think we're just gonna be twice as strong as we were this year. Defender Yasmin Malik had a terrific first season for the Highlanders and was named to the A-Sun All-Freshman Team. Take on three, one, two, three. <laughs> With a young team back, the future is bright for NJIT women's soccer. Returning 24 out of your 26 players is huge. I mean, Amelia is going to stay for her fifth year. Both coaches realize the effect that the new Wellness and Events Center will have on their programs. You know a lot of our teams in our conference are down south, so they can play year-round. So having this turf space in here is going to be great that we can come in. We can play 5v5 tournament, we can hit long balls, um, we can open up the game, which is going to be great for that space. Not many universities have such a facility. And then our, our, our field, our new stadium, being so close to the middle of campus is just going to be phenomenal. The WAC features state-of-the-art training rooms and locker rooms for both soccer teams.
The new artificial turf field will occupy the space just outside the wet on which Fleischer Athletic Center currently sits. The stadium, which opens in August 2018, will feature bleacher seating for over 1,000 fans. The future is certainly bright for NJIT soccer. We'll see you next year.